Why? Hello, you amazing, beautiful, freaking people. Welcome back to another Taylor's with Friday. And we're finally doing it. We're finally doing it. Reputation has been one of the most requested reactions alongside Errors Tour. When I first started reacting to Taylor Swift, Reputation has literally been right up there. Every single Swifty has been telling me that I need to see this. Every single one. And the only reason we did 1989 first, even though Reputation was way more requested, was because everyone said it would be weird to do 1989 after Reputation. It would make more sense to do it before. Even though everyone wanted it, we were like, right? 1989 first and then reputation and I'm really glad we did it that way round just simply because I absolutely love 1989 and a lot of people said maybe it wouldn't hit the same or anything like that so I loved it and I'm glad it hit just as hard as it did teary eyed the whole way through 1989 was so much fun I literally just it was just like the nice the nicest feeling ever I pressed play I was just teary eyed and smiling just feeling so happy it was wonderful I loved it and now we move on to reputation all I know about like the story behind Reputation is the controversy that happened beforehand, right? We watched the documentary and then we won't go into it too much because you shouldn't really give, you shouldn't give people like that the attention they deserve. So we're just going to ignore them. But the, those uh, douchebags and uh, what they did to Taylor and then Taylor going quiet and then coming back with like snakes that were being posted on social media and then Reputation. And now we're finally going to react to the full live show. So every single Friday, Taylor Swift Reputation videos are going to be dropping on this channel. And today is the first one. <laughs> so I'm going to stop talking. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe as well. If you're not subscribed already, please press that button. And let's jump into my first time ever reaction to Taylor Swift's full live Reputation World Tour. I'm actually nervous. <laughs> I'm actually Taylor nervous. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. to address that room. Global superstar Taylor Swift. This is the first time photographers have caught T Swift on film in six weeks. Grammy's youngest ever winner of album of the year. Is there bad love? Taylor Swift is responsible for me being suspended. Taylor Swift is in hot water. Taylor again. Swift is on top of the world, but has she done some sketchy things to get there? I felt like she was a little angry. Number 13. There she is leaving a restaurant. She holds too many grudges. You can see her feet at the very bottom. I can see her making her way into the car. I can understand trying to keep your relationship to yourself at the beginning. Or needing to take some time to work on your craft. But come on! And Taylor, voluntarily bringing attention to herself with her donation. What Swift did is not enough. Yeah, okay, Tay. Whatever you say. I I hate to say this, but I think Taylor Swift is learning a few lessons about All this drama is exhausting, isn't it? focus on making sure the rest of the This is just for attention. Is all this real? But at the same time, everything we're hearing. Taylor Swift takes the stand in court today. Taylor Swift's reputation. Reputation. So instead, we'll talk about Taylor Swift's reputation. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so fucking epic. I'm not surviving this reputation reaction. <laughs> I 
ay, 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 ay. Woo! Alright, give me a moment. Oh my word. I know I've reacted to <laughs> intro and ready for it before. And not the full intro, just part of it. Um Oh my word. <sighs> um but that was <coughs> <coughs> man, I'm crumbling. That was my first ever reaction to Taylor Swift seven months ago. Oh man, hold on, we can hold it together. That was my first ever reaction to Taylor Swift seven months ago, right? Was intro and ready for it. That was the first time I'd ever heard anything from Taylor. Ever. Ah! Oh, Jesus Christ! I can't believe I can't believe it. I can't believe it, man. Whew. If you've been recommended Taylor, Jamie, the amazing Jamie kicking my ass, being like, trust me, just give Taylor a shot. And this was my first time reaction to Taylor. And here we are seven months later, having what? How many songs we reacted to? <laughs> and we're seeing her fucking live in August. Oh, man, what a journey. This has been so fun. This is one of the coolest, coolest things I've ever seen. The way she walks, the way she moves her hips, everything, man. Oh, my God. Oh, the, the camera work is so cool. It doesn't look like a live a live show. It looks like a fucking music video, like how well this camera work is. The camera work is nuts. This reaction might just end up being really boring. I don't I don't know if I'm going to be able to speak. <laughs> you might be tuning in for 40 minutes of me just sitting here. Just not saying anything. I am... Oh my god, it's so cool. It's so cool. It's such an epic fucking intro, man. It's such an epic intro. Look at this. Oh my god. I'm just, I'm just someone battling against the waves. Yeah, I'm trying to survive. I'm already like teary eyed and runny nose. Record scratch as well sounds like a tiger roar. I love it. My nose. Uh, the freaking like backup dancers look like characters from Riddick or something <laughs> like the outfits or like Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh my word.
Um, <coughs> that was cool. Yeah, that was cool. That was um. <coughs> I was, I was like, yeah, it was alright. <laughs> I think as far as intros to a concert go, Reputation has one of the coolest ones I've ever seen. Ever. The intensity of it, the way the doors open, Taylor just standing there, the way it ends as well, all these like, um, I don't know what they're called, but like these fires of smoke as well on the stage and everything that's been utilized, the dancers and Taylor's interaction with them, everything about Ready For It as this intro to this live performance really sets the stage as you are in for something that can be described with one word and that is epic you are in for something epic here it is such a cool intro and my my word i feel like taylor just decided to open this concert at a 10 and i, I don't know i'm guessing she just wants to stay there Look at her face! Look at her face! <laughs> that little smile! Look at that face! Look at her! Oh man. She's just got a little bit teary eyed there. Oh man. What the hell's this? Trust a narcissist Oh, but they love me Taylor's hips, man <laughs> So <laughs> just... I play on my goodbye And I make it look <laughs> oh fuck! Cause for every lie I tell it. Oh my word. Tell me three. This is how the world works. Now all he thinks of I gotta say, the freaking <clears throat> man, I, I am I am losing my voice here. I actually feel like I am. Um the freaking <clears throat> <clears throat> The freaking openings so far have been mind blown. I feel like every like well, I don't know only two songs in, but it feels like it feels like the concert's restarted. Does that make sense? Like we had intro and ready for it. And I feel like we've restarted and we're like having another intro. The way that this song goes in like into itself really does feel like it could also be the opening for this concert. It has that kind of epicness to it, that energy as well. Every movement and that slowness with the drum that she did with the dancers there was so intense and well done. It just draws your attention immediately. And Taylor's facial expressions, as she's like embodying everything this song is about, my word. Like She's not one of these singers just stands up there, performs, is a microphone, sings, amazing voice, everyone's clapping, right? No. And that's no shade against singers like that. But what I mean is when Taylor performs, she embodies everything that the song represents, everything that is about that song, and her whole demeanor and facial expressions and body language, energy, everything changes to shift around that song. And I love that so much about her. I, I, just, I, I just love it. If a man talks shit, then I own nothing. Even the star, even the star lines, facial expressions. So regret it one bit, cause he had it coming. Oh my word, man. You say I did something bad, it wasn't feel so good. You say I did something bad, it wasn't feel so good. Most fun I ever had. <laughs> Everyone's going for it. Oh man. Oh, God. <laughs> the dancing on this is another level. 
The choreo has been wrapped up. I'm not gonna survive these reactions, guys. I swear to God. The thing is, with Taylor as well, it's not just her. It's everyone on that stage. All the dancers, all the, all of our singers, the band, everyone. Everyone is part of that energy with her. It's, 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 it's not just her. You know what I mean? It's like Taylor's out there. She's performing this song. But everyone is there to back her up. Everyone matches her energy. And it just creates these fucking amazing performances. Where you can look at anyone's facial expressions. Anyone's dancing. Even the singers a second ago. They were like going crazy. I love that. Everyone is there. Just completely on the same level as Taylor on that stage. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Oh man, this is gonna be some fun Fridays we've got coming up, people. Woo. We've done a lot of these songs before as well. <clears throat> it's really fun going back and checking them out through different eyes now. Because when I first did these, I was still like, you know, finding my feet in the, in the Taylor Swift world. And I feel like I'm always going to be fighting on my feet. It is a ship that never stops rocking. Oh, man. But at least now, going back and watching these, I 100% consider myself a Swifty. <laughs> it's, not even, it's not even a slight bit of contention. And it's been like that for months. <laughs> like, absolutely. Absolutely. I literally had someone in my life... <laughs> recently say to me like um like i talk about my reactions on my channel sadly it's a family member that just seems to not comprehend that this is something i enjoy doing and i recently had them in my life say something because i saw them you know, around mine and they were like but taylor swift really but taylor swift really and i literally just looked at him and said yes taylor swift is fucking awesome <laughs> I, was, I was like she's fucking awesome yes taylor swift Those are my exact words, by the way. Some family members just part of a different. They're burning all the witches, even if you aren't one. And sadly, there's certain people in in uh, in people's lives that just think it's uh, it's not manly to listen to Taylor Swift. It's not manly, you know. It's not manly to be emotional, to be crying over Taylor Swift. That's not manly. I don't know what people think defines a man. I think uh, the definition of a man could be like super simple. I don't think there really is one. I don't, I don't think anything defines <laughs> the definition of a man. Because like I just said, it's super simple because it doesn't really exist. I don't think anyone has to be a certain way to be a man. I don't think anyone has to be a certain way to be anybody. I think people should just be who the fuck they want to be. And that's the best way people are going to enjoy their lives. I don't think we should be giving people these definitions. I don't think any single one person is the same. They got their pitchforks and proof. Their precedes and reasons. God, I love They're this. They're all the witches even if you aren't one. God, I love and this. And it's just for fun.
I love the slow motion as well. When Taylor moves her hips like that, those dancers aren't acting. They're actually being blown the hell away. <laughs> Look at her face! Look at her face! She's so adorable! She's so freaking adorable! Look at her! Oh my word! Oh my word! <laughs> that little smile! I can't, man. Oh, look at her! Good evening, Dallas, Texas, and welcome to the Reputation oh, Stadium God. Tour. I fucking love you. You freaking... How could, how could she go from that? You know, how, how, how could she go from that intro to this? What the hell? <laughs> we literally go from, like, Taylor just, like, you know, terrifying us. You know, just this crazy epic intro to... Hi! <laughs> Welcome to the dawn. It's just like, how? I love her. Oh, man. God. She is the best. She is the most precious thing ever. I love her so much. You know, guys, I've been, I've been coming to play in the Dallas Arlington area since I was about 15 years old. And, uh,. I was looking at the list of times I've played here, and this is actually the 30th show that I'll be playing in this area. I mean... So that's a good long history we've got going on between us, and I want to say thank you for a few things. First of all, having been to Dallas as many times as I've been here, I know how many things there are available for you to do on a Saturday night. You have lots of options, and you decided to spend your Saturday evening with us. Thank you so much. Let's be honest for a second, all right? There's no other options. There's no, there's no other options. When Taylor Swift comes to your town, the only option you have for a night out is a Taylor Swift night out. There are no other options. Trust me, you, look, they don't exist. It literally says, what should we do Saturday? Uh, Taylor Swift? Nothing else. That's strange. There's no other options. Look at this. What is this? Shit, man. I can't. Her cuteness kills me. Another thing that you guys did <clears throat> is that every single one of us on this stage, on this tour, gets to know that because of you, this is the first tour. Nobody has ever played back to back nights at this stadium before. Thank you, guys. Ah, oh, you beautiful Swifties. So here you are. I can't deal with the happy crowd. to be with us. Melts my heart. On, you may have heard this. It's a little known fact. This is the last night of the US tour. <laughs> the dance is so well. And so you decided not only to spend your Saturday night with us, but to come here to commemorate the last night on this tour that has meant so much to me. That is such a beautiful thing. Thank you for deciding all of those things. Tonight. Her voice broke a little bit there. Her voice broke a little bit. I would even say 
it's something even more than beautiful. It's like a step above. Oh, beautiful. We're getting What's a segue here. That, Dallas? That's the one. Wait, this is new? You should take it as a compliment that I got drunk and made fun of the way you talk. We got a new song! You should think about the consequence of your yes. magnetic field being a little too strong. And I got a boyfriend, he's older than us. He's in the club doing One listen to Taylor and not like her. Like honestly, how is it even possible? How is it even possible? How? At this point, uh, you know what? I'm not even joking. You know how like you judge people based on their opinions on like cats or dogs or um, or like how they are with their kids. You know? You know? Like I and it's true, right? Let, let's not pretend we don't. Like if someone says they don't like dogs, immediately you're like, you don't like dogs. Fucking psychopath! <laughs> like you know, it's like how do you know, like a puppy or a kitten? It's like yeah, it's like wrong with you. Yeah, you know, immediately, right? I feel like you could do the same with Taylor Swift. All right, now I know this. This people might be saying like, come on, we shouldn't we shouldn't be judging people this sort of stuff. But I'm just saying maybe if you're like, ah man, do you, like Taylor Swift. You know, you know how you heard of Taylor Swift? And they're like, yeah, I can't stand Taylor Swift. Then you're just like, you can't stand Taylor Swift. I, I bet you hate puppies as well, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> and you should think about the consequence of you touching my hand in a dark room. I really like this song. I love this. If you my nose, my eyes, man. But if you're single, it's honestly worse. Because you're so gorgeous, it actually hurts. Ocean blue eyes, looking in my I love this. I love this! One listen is all you need for to see these choruses. This <laughs> going crazy! And now, Dallas, I would like to introduce you to the incredibly talented, gorgeous women of the Reputation Stadium Tour. Make some noise for Jazz! Wait, she, does she go through every single one? I, this is the best! Oh man, this is this, this right, right. Jazz. Rhea. Rhea. Gracie. Gracie. Camila. Camila. Jesslyn. Jesslyn. Melanie. Melanie. <laughs> Nadine. Nadine or Maydine. Stephanie. Stephanie. Yoey. Yoey. That's an awesome name. Elliot. Elliot. Oh shit, that's Taylor! How did it take me this long to realize? I can't! Stop showing me the Swifties! I can't, man! I can't! It's immediately just taking my brain. I love the, the hands as well. It's immediately just taking my brain. Straight back to the interviews in 1989 where she was like, and these are my cats. And she's like, you can tell which one likes people. And I don't know the names of them yet. One of them was just chilling. And the other one was like, Aah! 
<laughs> just like, I think it's the one on the right, it's the angry one, right? <laughs> This song is such a vibe, man. Cause look at your face! <laughs> oh my word, they all crunch me. All of these amazing women just have the biggest smiles ever. And when it shows any of the dancers, any of the singers, or Taylor themselves, having these giant smiles, just feeling the energy, is melting my heart. I love each and every one of them. Oh. What a nice energy of this song. I love it. Just happy, happy, happy. I love it. Oh, God, this is going to be fucking awesome. We reacted to these every Friday. Look at you amazingly awesome people there. Oh my word. I'm so doomed. This is going to be the best. <laughs> I'm so fucked. I don't even get. Oh man, every Friday is going to kill me and I'm here for it. Oh. I don't know about this. The facial expressions are changing. We're in trouble again, everybody. Whew. Oh, as if we weren't before. Oh man. You got that change. Is it just a requirement on that stage to be able to move your hips in a way that would kill most people? Like, I'm just saying, I'm struggling. I swear, every single one of these amazing women on that stage, when Taylor does a move with her hips and they all do it together, I'm surprised anyone is alive in that stadium. My word. I, like, I, th that is, that is, that should be, that should come with like, you know when people say like, it should come with like a weapon warning or like a danger warning? That is that. Taylor's hips and all of those women. It's dangerous. Love this song. Style, it for me, has one of my favorite Taylor Swift intros. I love the intro to Style. It's like a proper driving song. I fucking love this intro so much. Style for me is a Taylor song where I love the entire song. But verse one and verse two of this instrumental, I don't know what it is about it, but verse one and verse two, I fucking love. I love the opening verse, the intro, I love the second verse. I don't even know what it is, but something about them, oh. Oh, someone had the, like, one of her cats on the side. Amazing, awesome, freaking Taylor Band. Taylor really just surrounds herself with the best people, doesn't she? Absolutely, every single one, every single person that is part of this show is just a ten out of ten person. It, they really are role models, aspirations, ten out of ten people. 
Anyone that surrounds himself with Taylor Swift, you just know that's a good soul right there. Love story? What? get some mashup songs like this like or is this the only one either way that was a really nice transition there the band coming out as well the band looks so cool too the band coming out we got we got oh man we got to this we got taylor's taylor's girls her singers behind her now again oh and we're going to love story from style to love story oh, okay All right, that's a good transition i like it <laughs> The cats on the board is the best thing ever. Like having a cat sign of Taylor's cats is just the greatest. Ah! Oh! <laughs> you know, this is just really simple. I get emotional whenever I see people happy, like like really happy and just having a wonderful time, because it makes me happy to see other people happy. So whenever it cuts to any of the Swifties in the crowd, the reason I always get so emotional is because I just know that there's these, they're, like those are real people that are just watching this right now, like we are watching these right now all over the world or wherever you are, we're all watching this right now, right? Like I'm watching it, you guys are watching me watch it, watch it. and those are real people there watching it. And I just know that they're just having, like, when it cuts them and you just see them having the best night ever, I just feel that, you know, and it just, I'm just, it just makes me so happy. And I just think of, like, there's a huge crowd just full of all these, all these people that are just there for Taylor and, and there to have a good time and there to spread love and positivity. And I, I, I just can't help but feel it, you know? It feels really special. It really does. Hmm. I, I just keep thinking, it's like... It's, it's funny. If 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 um certain people in my life say it's uh, unmanly for me to be crying over Taylor Swift, well, all I can say is, well, those are the kind of unmanly men I'd like my sons to grow up and be, you know? I'd prefer that. I'd rather the people I know have a heart than anything else. I think that's the most important thing. I love this song. <laughs> Swift is going crazy! <laughs> She's doing the face! <laughs> to another song again
Hey, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on one second. <clears throat> Hold on just one second. Was that camera? When she said, you belong with me. <laughs> the cameras were showing the... On the, the screen behind her was lit up. With like Polaroids. And in each Polaroid was the crowd. <laughs> you belong with me. And and she, she was showing all the Swifties there. Oh my god, that is the best thing ever. Oh my god, that is the best thing ever. Look! All on the stage and everything. That is the best thing ever. When Taylor said, let me see you all jump. Fucking everybody was jumping. From the front to the back, all up the side. I think that's a good place to end part one. I think that is a perfect place to end part one. Oh my word. Oh. Oh, I'm not surviving. I can imagine this will be put into five parts. I don't know. That's usually how we do these. Just to make sure we've got enough time for commentary and everything. And <clears throat> oh, man. Um, yeah, I um, I don't know if I'm going to survive in this. <laughs> Whew. Um, when she said, let me see you jump, like, and, and you just saw the lights go on the crowd. And you just literally saw thousands, tens of thousands of people going all the way to the back, all the way up the sides, and just everyone jumping and dancing and just cutting to the Swifties and showing their facial expressions and their reaction, just seeing everybody feeling this. How, how, how does it not melt your whole soul? Oh, man, I need to, like, compose myself for a second. Ha! I think reputation is going to be a bit crazy, people. I think it is. One of the coolest intros to any live concert I've ever seen. It really is. It is like... And the thing is... There's, it's like... It's not too complicated, you know? It's not like there's like... 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 Pirate... Like, I don't know. I, I can't even think. <sighs> You know what I mean. <laughs> it's not like there's a million things coming on stage, going off stage, like all these different things being built and explosions and all sorts of stuff, right? It's not like that. It's simple. And then it's simple. In its simplicity, it becomes incredible. Because all it is, is the music and Taylor. That's pretty much it, right? If you boil down that intro, that's what it is. You have this stage that just opens, and there's just Taylor standing there. And that is all you need. To have one of the most epic intros I've ever seen from a live concert ever. <laughs> like, so true as well. Yet it's something that just grabs you about this. I, I cannot explain it, but my word, I can feel it. That is something so special. I can't... Whew, I can't wait to be a part of this crowd. I can't wait. My wife and I were thinking, we're like, we're trying to work out what to wear when we go to see Aerostore. You know, we're like looking at different things. And I was like, I was like, I'm, I might just go with something like a bit random. Because <laughs> originally I was like, can I get like, I could, I could do like a full costume. But now I might just get like, um, um, some jerseys. Um, some jerseys. Um, I forgot, my brain is blank. Um, the football team Travis plays for, uh, I've literally remembered the name, but I've forgotten it now because it's how it works when you're doing these videos. Because I don't edit and cut stuff out as much, I try and leave it all raw. I'm not going to <laughs> Google it either. With, <laughs> but yeah, um, uh, my wife wants like a jacket jersey um, and then I'll get a jersey as well. I have some custom writing on the back, don't know what yet. And then I was thinking of either having, <clears throat> I don't know if I'm going to get a white or red one, but I kind of want... I kind of want um, lavender trousers or lavender boots to for my favorite song, which is Lavender Haze. 
And so I was like, I thought like maybe that could be like a nice sort of touch there. So it's like either some lavender trousers, lavender boots, or both lavender boots and lavender trousers. I was trying to find a pair of like lavender Timberlands or something to like get. If anyone knows if there's like a good pair, because I swear I saw a purple pair of Timberlands. They don't need to be 100% lavender. I swear I did, but I can't find them anymore. Uh, maybe I'll just Google purple boots. Um, but yeah, that's what I think. What do, you, what do you guys think? Would you Is there something you guys think would be better? I don't know. Let me know. Let me know. <sighs> I love how it's like, are you ready for it? No. <laughs> in, in no way. Not even a little bit. Can you be ready for something like this? Well, it doesn't matter if we're ready. We're going. So next week, we'll continue with Reputation. I really hope you all enjoyed this reaction. Sorry it's not my most, like, informative reaction. I'm not really saying much. I, I, I Hopefully next week I'll be better. Honestly, I just felt like... I felt like someone just slapped me around the face as hard as they possibly could at the beginning of this. And I was just like in a daze for the 40 minutes that we've been recording. That's what it felt like. So, sorry that I haven't been as composed. <laughs> Hopefully you've enjoyed the reaction still. My word. Yeah, this really whooped me. <laughs> it really did. Wow. Taylor, her incredible dance team, her incredible band, her incredible singers... And her incredible self are about to give us one hell of a live show. And I cannot wait to watch it. Thank you very much for joining me. Have an incredible weekend. I hope it's the best weekend ever. I love all of you beautiful people. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new here. Whew. And as always, my friends, you will see me in the next video.